Hi, my name is Julian, and I'm one of the co-authors on SMARTS, which stands for Scalable Multi-Agent RL Training School for Autonomous Driving. SMARTS is a simulation platform, but why do we need another simulation platform? Well, despite over a decade of R&D and millions of miles driven by autonomous vehicles, still, how to competently interact with diverse road users in diverse scenarios remains an unanswered question. If you look at rather seemingly simple example here on the bottom right of what's called a double merge, even something like this requires fairly complex interaction between vehicles. And then the top right uh, example here you know, speaks for itself the level of complex interaction going on. Yet, besides this, or given this, uh, mainstream L4 autonomous driving solutions, they limit interaction rather than embrace it. And our view that is that this is fundamentally a multi-agent problem that requires multi-agent learning. So our contributions is an industrial strength simulation platform to bring multi-agent RL to autonomous driving, an approach to the bootstrapping problem for realistic interaction, how to scale what we're calling uh, heterogeneous agent computing, and a benchmark suite to tie everything together. Realistic and diverse interaction really arises out of a confluence of realistic physics, behavior of road users, road structure and regulation, and background traffic flow. And SMART's take on this is uh, the social agent zoo, which collects diverse social agents from different sources, such as self-play or real-world driving, or uh, contributions from the community. And these agents can be then trained in a multi-generational way. Uh, we can start off with maybe mostly rule-based agents and start to bring some learning-based agents and then increase the complexity generation after generation. And then these agents can be used for training or uh, for evaluation. The SMARTS platform is a compositional one. It's orchestrating stepping of multiple sub-simulators or co-simulators. For example, it brings in Sumo for background traffic, Bullet for realistic physics, and many other sub-simulators that provide their view of, of uh, what's going on in the environment. And SMART's job is to then harmonize the responses into something coherent. Scenarios are compositional. It brings in traffic flows, actors, agents, etc. And then to build these interaction scenarios and have agents running inside of them, we bring forth the concept of bubbles, which is about managing agent transfer of control uh, to focus computational resources on, on, on the meaningful bits, and we'll talk about that shortly. And finally, distributed computing underpins all of this. Agents, a uh, complex agent, let's say a full autonomous driving stack, can take its own machine and be integrated with smarts, or you can have multiple agents running on one machine. Scenario Studio is where we develop it's a DSL where we can develop uh, scenarios. And in this 25 line snippet here is actually a full-fledged scenario, which produces something here on the bottom right. And here we, we can define traffic, we can define uh, bubbles, which we'll talk about next. We can define uh, missions and routes, etc. And these scenarios are used for training and for evaluation. The agent zoo, as we spoke about earlier, is where we house those diverse set of agents. And they can be crowdsourced, but to contribute them, they need to pass an entrance exam to see that they're fit uh, to be made available to others in the agent zoo. And these agents are referenced to the Scenario Studio DSL, just like this over here. Okay, that takes us to bubbles. So what are these for? Well, complex tasks likely necessitate complex agents, which necessitates necessitates uh, quite a bit of computational power. So what we really want to do is allocate the computation where it matters, where it's me most meaningful. So in the examples here on the right, we have some junctions here. And when a vehicle enters this, what is called the bubble here, an agent then takes a control over it to, to handle the task, and then it gives the vehicle back to uh, the background traffic. So really it's about focusing computation on the meaningful interaction where we, we, where we want to learn. SMARTS is open source. We really invite you all to uh, try it out for yourself and uh, see what you think, as well as if you're interested to contribute your own policies. Thanks very much.